there's a lot of pressure sometimes in those family businesses to keep on keeping on and keep on keep the name alive kind of thing and you know, uh, and, and people aren't really even happy doing it I, i've noticed there's a absolute distinct difference okay you've got your legacy business owners which you know they maybe they took the company over from their parents and I have friends in this exact category where they've made it much bigger, much more successful than their parents did only because it was just the next level. It was just, you know, they got, they got to a point where they could handle what they could handle. And then the new blood, the new energy came in and took it much bigger. I've also seen people that just kind of rode the coattails of their, of their parents' companies. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, a lot of times those things just languish. They don't te technically grow. And then there's, you know, there's kids that have ruined their parents' companies. I've seen that happen as well. But again, I think just like, you know, my financial planner who does a lot of family business transitioning um, uh, consulting, you all have to have a real clear vision of who's doing what, who wants what for themselves, who's getting what out of this picture, and then go sit down and make that happen with, with some type of plan that you talk about ongoing. I mean, you know, to set these types of family transition plans isn't a one-time thing. It's, it's at least uh, a monthly meeting for the first year and then a quarterly meeting after that. And everybody knows who's on everyone's page. That seems to be the way to get that done in a successful way.